Among the shadows of World War II, stories of real-life heroes often remain untold, their tales buried in the annals of history. Today, we dive deep into the life of Violet Sabot, a brave British secret agent whose extraordinary acts rival the fictional escapades of James Bond, Agent 007. Join us as we uncover her incredible journey. Born in Paris in 1921, Violet Sabu grew up bicultural, reaping the benefits of both French and British heritage. Her youth was, for the most part, unremarkable, filled with typical joys and travails of a young girl. But as the storm clouds of war gathered, destiny had other plans for her. It was love at first sight when she met Etienne Sabot, a dashing French foreign legionnaire. After a whirlwind romance, they married in 1940. However, their bliss was short-lived. Etienne died in the Battle of El Alamein in 1942, leaving behind a devastated widow and her young daughter, Tanya. Rather than succumb to her grief, Violette channeled her anguish against the Axis powers. Joining the Special Operations Executive, SOE, she became one of the few female agents sent behind enemy lines. Violette's bilingual background made her an invaluable asset, and soon she was deep within occupied France, sabotaging German operations. Violette's first mission in April 1944 showcased her fearlessness. She navigated the rugged terrains of Rouen, gathering crucial intelligence and establishing contact with the French resistance. Her resourcefulness and courage ensured the success of the mission, earning her a return ticket to Nazi-occupied territory for further operations. It was on her second mission, however, that the true metal of Agent Sabu was tested. Parachuted into Limoges in June 1944, Villette was entrusted with the task of coordinating resistance groups ahead of the D-Day landings. But within days she was captured by the Gestapo. Despite brutal torture and interrogation, Violette divulged nothing, her spirit unbroken. Moved from prison to prison, her resilience became legendary. Even at the Ravensbrück concentration camp, she continued to resist her captors, inspiring other inmates with her undying spirit. Stories of her defiance against the Nazis became symbolic of the indomitable spirit of resistance fighters. Unfortunately, Violette Sabu's tale doesn't have a Hollywood ending. In early 1945, she was executed at the age of 23. Her sacrifice, however, was not in vain. The intelligence she provided, the networks she nurtured and the operations she facilitated played a crucial role in the eventual liberation of France. It was only posthumously that Violette Sabot's heroics received widespread recognition. In 1946, she was awarded the George Cross, Britain's highest civilian decoration for bravery. In France, she was honored with the Medaille de la Résistance and the Croix de Guerre, testaments to her exceptional valor. The legacy of Violette Sabot was more than just her acts of bravery during the war. It's a testament to human resilience, to the depths of courage one can summon in the face of insurmountable odds. While James Bond, Agent 007, remains a fictional icon of espionage, the real-life story of Violette Sabot surpasses any spy thriller. If you found Violette's story as inspiring as I did, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more tales from history's unsung heroes. Until next time, remember the sacrifices made by countless individuals during those dark times, and let's ensure their stories continue to shine.